Play a game of human frogger and risk your life in the most half-assed highway interchange in the immediate populated area. Here you go. A triumph of abject incompetence favoring motorism. A little before eight in the morning and I'm down here to see what I can do to keep an eye on a rally that is said to occur here at eight. Here we have one of several hell intersections along Cambridge Street. There's the cleared area for Harvard. Notice how motorists are basically coming off of the Mass Pike, fully caffeinated in their typical rush. Notice the complete lack of anything to encourage them to slow down. Notice the hazardous nature of this whole bleak disaster of a setup. I have a forlorn little bus stop. Doesn't it look like fun trying to get to that? They want to load that little strip up with Jersey barriers to make it even more interesting. Example of what was suggested by one of the bike safety advocates that I'm here to help in my feeble way. She's kind of fond of those cool little planters as an alternative to Jersey barriers. And it looks like the city is fitfully responding with various types of safety signs we'll examine momentarily. looks like another example of efficacy and the fruit of the labor of the safety advocates here. They've managed to convince Harvard to keep the construction vehicles off of the main arterial everyone's going to use. And they seem to have also added some interesting signage. And another flower pot. So it looks like our team is kind of winning. Nice. And here we have the disheveled shabbiness 
of the neighborhood. Here's a bike ramp. There's all kinds of old rusting public art stuff that's kind of charming, but it seems to have been let go to seed. No doubt because of greed. <laughs> Wouldn't want to have people actually pay for the stuff that they're using. So this is a principal access ramp. And as you can see, they really aren't getting around to dealing with the sidewalk just yet. And this is one quasi remedy. It's the one way that you can cross over to the other abandoned side of Alston. Lower Alston, I believe it's called. To get over to this Brighton side. This is pretty much the epicenter. And a place where people have died. There's lots of blind spots. And as you can see, the stupid Jersey barriers put here due to the city's sloth at just fixing the stupid sidewalk takes bicyclists and others and puts them in a really hazardous situation throwing them at least six or seven more feet out into the crowded right-of-way these are the old rug road lofts you can see they're going all New York, <laughs> trying to decorate the squalor by putting funny little things in the windows where no one currently lives. This is pretty much where it starts to get to normal. All the caffeinated motorists start to notice that they're actually in a crowded city with a lot of vent density. And so this is where we turn and head back on down towards the site of this thing. I see a bunch of bicyclists showing up. That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> 